Here we go. Caught your doom scrolling. Let's talk about scrolling animations. What if I told you you could create these kind of parallaxy scroll type effects with nothing but CSS alone? Well, that's coming to the web platform and you can try it today in your browser using a polyfill that's in active development. There are two types of scrolling animation. Those that link to an element's position within its viewport or scroll port using view timeline and those that are linked to the scroll position of a scrolling container using scroll timeline. And there are new properties and keywords to become familiar with. Let's do a speedy walkthrough and create some scrolling animations to reveal these images on scroll. We've got our polyfill in place, and this is what our markup looks like. Hop over to the CSS. Let's start by giving our images a view timeline, and we're gonna name them reveal and use a logical block axis. Next, define an animation, then apply an animation timeline of our view timeline, and then we need to define the time range at which our animation is active. So we're gonna go with cover 30%, and we're gonna use an end delay of cover 50%. We're saying when our image has covered 30% of the scroll port, start our animation, and when it's covered 50%, finish. The last thing to do, create our animation. Let's give that a try, and sweet, you've got your first scroll linked animation image reveals on scroll with very few lines of CSS. What other timeline ranges are available to us? Well, Dom Toretto is here in his latest out in Tokyo scroll to help us. In addition to cover, we have enter, exit, and contain. And there's a view timeline hooked up to this car that shows how they work. Bring Dom Toretto in and we can see that he animates in at around enter 50% and he's done by about cover 65 or contain 80 just before our car exits. This is a super exciting API to play with, with so many possibilities. How about responsive scrolly telling? Or one of those multi-directional experiences? It works great with scroll snap too. And you could power micro interactions with it. It's a really powerful API. How about this animated book where the page animations are linked to these trigger elements that use scroll snap? We've used this mechanic for Chrome Toba. Go check it out on web.dev. CSS though, am I right? Well, you could build Peter's blinds using the scrolling animations API. And now the blinds work. Grab the polyfill, go check out the scroll linked animations API. And that's it. I hope you found these speedy dev insights useful and I hope you're excited for what's coming to the web platform. Remember, we're here to help and you can come and find me and ask any questions. And if you wanna find me online, you can find me on GeoCities, I, I mean Twitter. My handle is at JH3YY. And Cheers for having me, State of the Browser. Stay awesome.